seven one. So okay, let's let's do it. Begin with memories, aka uh, uh, fuck our something genetic field. I already forgot what. Fuck, no, not morpho genetic field. I almost forgot. Okay. Uh, all right, this game is fiction, etc. All right, uh, someone, <laughs> see if I can remember. I don't think I remember. All right, how do I like, is this new? I can't skip this. I began with memories, right? Can I not skip this? Just tab, or what, what, what is the skip option? Down, forward. Okay, forward. I guess it's forward. All right. All right. Uh, here we go. Anybody remember what the the passwords are? I, cause I don't. All right, um, let's get this thing from here. This key. We've done this puzzle so many freaking times. Oh no, we have to do the uh, this thing. I was like, how's the, how's the audio? Oops. Uh, I think it's in the pot, right? Uh, wait, I need to actually look at the, uh, wait, yeah, there it is. All right. Uh, where is the other one? The other note, it's like here on the wall. All right, okay, so. So let's do blue first. Blue is five, two, uh, Five two six, five two six three. Unless it's zero two six three. Oh, is that zero two six three? Maybe it is zero two six three. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, it worked. All right. File, yeah, cool. Digital root, okay. Uh, new material. All right, now what, what's the red one? Uh, seven, seven, four, seven, four, eight, five, seven, four, eight, five. I think. I should just write down the, the code at this point. But whatever, it, it's too it's too late for that. Why don't I ever remember that it is this? Because it's such an easy to remember number. 7485. It's too late now. Here we go. I hate this part where I have to actually use like all the key cards. What? Do I, do, do I not get the key? Is that why? Oh, I did. I'm a dummy. All right. Of course, the files. Fuck. Boop, boop. All right. All right. 
blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. So, we're fast forwarding again. Alright, so we go on four. Um, oh, hey, it's that girl. Okay. And uh, we're about to call some shit, right? The dude with the knife's gonna happen pretty soon. It's a guy. <laughs> this guy with the knife that we know now is uh, duped by Ace. Alright. He gets fucked. Goodbye. Which pair? Uh, does it matter? Um, probably not. I don't know. I will just do this because we haven't. Ace Lewis, you do it. Ugh. He didn't give me a hand here, and I can't do anything. There we go. The pun was a little too on the nose, but the mood was still grim. Both Ace and Lowe's lifted their heads, left hands silently. Okay. He verified, and she followed suit. Blah, blah, blah. They fulfilled the conditions. <laughs> yeah, Ace, <laughs> get in there. She just kill this motherfucker right now. She's like, oh, no gore and stuff and they're like damn he died okay there's lots of blood all right even for an old game as uh, zero said that yeah I, I mean this is fine i'm surprised i haven't picked those lines this is braille Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> okay. God, this is... Man, we're zooming past so much that way. What would the digital route be? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go through to a four. Door 4 would be fine. He would go through Door 4 with Lotus, Santa, and June. Um, Alright, okay, there we go. So, this is the same shit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Fate has a perfect skip system. I don't know why this doesn't. All right, so we gotta do this goddamn. All right, I, I fucking remember this shit, man. I'm fucking ready. I don't know what this is. Okay, maybe I don't really remember. God damn it. Uh, are you worried about me? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, do we want to try? Come on, it's not like that. Will, will she, she disappear? If if we don't say that. Uh, we worried about her? Uh, does this answer matter? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess I'm worried about you. I don't know. Giggle, giggle. Okay. Uh, this is the bedroom. Uh, do I look at the? I forget. Okay, it's the it's the Funyarimpa, and uh, can I uh, this one? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if there are people who just randomly fucking clicked around. They're just like, oh, yeah, 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 I fucking got this shit. Fucking got, like... Alright. What else do I do in this room? Like... Alright. Help you look around. Can I go in this door? I open this. Oh, there we go. Press her key. Alright, take the map. 
I don't know. I mean, that's the other weird thing about this game. It's like we get to often see, like, the map and shit. Do you think this boat is a replica of the Titan? Oh, God. Yeah, I shouldn't have picked that fucking map. Uh, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff. Uh, yeah, June, I do. I, to a certain extent. Junpei scratched his temple. What? Wait, this is new? Oh, it's new, right. What about you? Uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sunk the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Junpei couldn't understand how Jun had maintained such a straight face to say that. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amon Ra. I'm pretty sure we read this already. Which was stolen from a pyramid. Yeah, we definitely uh, read this already. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Haven't you ever heard that? Heard of that one? Uh, no. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right. June's eyes had lit up with excitement like a child with a new toy. The mummy, the priestess, supposedly she was special. Um, what do you mean? Well, supposedly she was really pretty. Uh, pretty? Yes, but uh, she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She was just like she was alive. Oh, I get it. That's the that's that thing. I don't remember, but uh, you know, your body turns into some kind of wax. If a dead body is put in the right sort of environment, the fat like turns into a kind of candle wax, right? And yes, it's a pontification, but that's not what it was. Uh, that's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way to when it was got put on the Titanic, and even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Ooh. June and Junpei talked a little more and then went back to their investigation. But even as they did, his mind went back to what she told him. Ice that wouldn't melt, even in the desert. So could such a thing really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? The more he thought about it, the more his head hurt. Like he'd eaten his ice cream too fast. Why is this even in the fucking game? <laughs> fucking goddammit. This game's so fucking troll. <laughs> that boy, where are you going? Uh, I was thinking of going over to Lois' room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just gonna go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room now. Well, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. New I fucking, face I fucking love Santa. He's the fucking god. A candle. Taking it back. I know that I've got the candle. All right, awesome. So time to put this shit down. Yo, love with the fucking sub, son. So I think I like look at some random shit, then the the light dies. Right. Okay. The light's dead here. Take this shit back. Okay. So I think this dresser door. There we go. All right. Cool. One, two, and let's get that third one. I fucking remember this time. Let's fucking go. Yes, it opened. Fucking, this display case will forever make me mad. Alright. Alright. Alright, the rest is this clover, the leaf, or the thingy. Alright. What do you want to do? Alright. Uh, take it. Take the bookmark from Santa. All right. Decide to take it. After all, why shouldn't he?
Pull that shit open. Yeah, he... Dude, Santa is like fucking god. Uh, do you like to play games? Play. Uh, you mean like play the stock market? I don't know. I, I think I think gambling was the right answer. Of course. Yeah, in Baccarat. Blah, blah, blah. Morphogenic fucking bookmark. <sighs> Maybe I should pick the stock market option. I haven't read that one yet. Give clover to snakes so you can dodge bolts with luck. Damn. Uh... So, okay, here we go. Uh, I think it's this. No, 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 no. Uh, I fucked up. How did I fuck up? I always, like, hunt I always clear this, like, fucking... Oh, I'm just fucking... Okay, there we go. Wait, is that off? No, they can't be off. Oh, I, there we go, there we go. I know what a Funyard Impa looks like, so I, I, I easily can match this. Alright. Yes. Dialogue we'll never see. Uh, now what? Take this key. Alright, now we're good, right? Son of a bitch. It's a dog. Fuck you. Maybe a dog? So you got the head here, then there's those front paws, and these are the back paws. Jibbe trace the black contours. See? Oh, I see it. I guess you got a point. Santa, despite his constant aloofness, was clearly impressed. Jinpei glanced over at Lewis. She looked stunned. How did you know? You're right. I didn't think you'd have been able to guess that. For a brief moment, Jinpei felt a swell of pride. Morphogenic field, mor motherfucker. That's, that's what it is. Okay, take that, Lotus. Lotus nodded and began to speak. A TV show from... Oh, just fuck this shit. Oh my god, we have to listen to this shit again. But you figured out the answer. You couldn't see as anything else. The first picture was a woman wearing a hat. Ah, we've heard this shit. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. God, this fucking game. Ah, uh, the, the rest of these fucking games better not have shit like this, man. Slime a bitch. In each country, they gathered a number of test subjects. All in all, there were roughly a thousand people. Those thousand people were shown the two pictures and asked, Why does this picture look like to you? The results, in and of themselves, were not terribly interesting. 9.2%. Oh, so dumb. <laughs> Fuck you, Lotus. <laughs> Piece of shit. Alright, we're gonna skip this shit. All hail the turbo button. I want to play the sequels, but they're not, like, on any console that I can play yet, so I kind of got to wait. Unless I, like, borrow a Vita TV in the game. Alright. Uh, we out, I think? I think are we out? Alright! Let's go to the hallway. I'll go get June. You guys head to the door. Okay. Roger that. Yes, it unlocked. Good job, Junpei. Good, now we can get the fuck out of here. Come on, dead boy, let's go. Do you have uh, the game? Because I still need to borrow the game if you have Vita TV. TV. Alright. Alright. There's more stuff you can relate to, though, like Parallel Universe. Alright. Uh, 
Can I just throw it down right here or do it? I, I don't even fucking remember. Uh, I don't remember what I do here. Did we just go in here? Oh, we need a rusted, right, we need a lube. Where do we get the lube? Uh, I need to look at this shit. Oh, well, here's this, I'm gonna need this later. Man, it's been a while. I know what's going on because Brett is sending it to the global consciousness through morphogenetic field, yeah. Exactly, see, Nigrat knows exactly what's what's going on. Uh, but I don't fucking remember what I'm supposed to do here. Is it like, uh, here? And where's the oil? What do I fucking do again? I'm so, I just don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I like it's I've done this before like three times. I just don't don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you can just fucking give me the guy. Uh, I, I, I there's like a lubricant I'm supposed to find somewhere. Just where the fuck is it? Uh, all oh, right, right, right. Here we go. Okay, this is fucking knife. I remember this goddamn knife took me forever. Oh god, I don't want to. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Well, no, I haven't because I'm just gonna zoom this shit. Yeah, behind the cheese, I remember that shit now. Oh, fucking June is so crazy. But June P, you said you believe in Kurt. Oh shit, this is a new dialogue. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, so let's say hypothetically that iMag writing isn't a total load of shit. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead guy wrote his thing, no one had died on the Titanic yet. So if Amag writing is about being possessed by spirits of dead people, who the hell possessed him so that he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's well, not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes. 20 years before it happened. He decided it was probably best to say nothing. What June was saying was insane and utterly absurd. If he had tried to take what she had said seriously, he'd go mad. Hey, there's something beneath the cheese. Alright, got this fucking oil. It's a time ghost. Alright, lube this shit up. Oh boy. I bet you... Well, I already know that I have to say some shit about Ice Nine. Fuck Ice Nine. When do we gotta talk about ice that that doesn't freeze, or ice that doesn't melt? Right here. Fucking dry ice. God fucking damn it. Oh, it did strike Junpei as rather fucking odd. It did seem rather odd to Junpei, and he couldn't help but think about it. Jun answered. They can turn to liquid. Carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure, it won't turn to a liquid, right? That's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. See, that's weird. Why is a liquid between 32 and 212 degrees? So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? June replied with an answer that stunned both of them. There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's wire that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah. Well, you could also look at it as ice that will melt until 96 degrees. 
Water that freezes at 96 degrees. Ice that won't melt until it's at 96 degrees. Junpei was cold as hell, but this was too interesting to ignore. He did his best to warm up by rubbing his arms and stamping his feet, then put the question to Jun. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called Ice 9. Ice 9. Originally, Ice 9 was a made-up substance invented by a science fiction author. But recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So this thing called Ice 9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. So you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of the crystallization, the hardness and the structure are completely different. So you're saying that normal water and this ice nine are like that? Yep, she wasn't finished. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerine? For 150 years after the discovery of glycerine, people cooled it, warmed it, and did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerine was or some glycerine was en route to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Naturally, scientists worldwide wanted to dis research this new crystallized form of glycerine and began asking for samples of the seed. The seed is, of course, a sample of the original crystallized substance. With the seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerine would be simple matter. Man, we've actually read this before, but I don't know. However, something strange happened. Not only did the glycerine encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, nearby samples did as well. It didn't in there. After that day, all glycerin in the world began to crystallize naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize, but once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like, how do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. Junpei. Uh... Uh... I guess... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm impressed, I guess. Yeah, you're impressed. It was, in fact, a pretty interesting story. Well, it's fucking bullshit, bullshit but whatever. Well, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. But, um... What does that have to do with Ice Nine? To a surprise, it was Santa and not June who answered. What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened, I mean? A lot like, uh, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man, it'd be the end of the world. Junpei felt that Santa might not be treating the idea of the end of the world with proper concern. At any rate, we're not going to have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here pretty damn quick. He was right. Junpei shivered. Alright guys, I think that's enough of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. Seriously. I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. Hardy har har. I freaking hate the cold. So let's get crackling, alright? Gotta find a way out of here. Santa stomped off, clearly doing his best to pretend the cold wasn't affecting him. Selfish, isn't he? Thought Junpei to himself. Still, Santa was right, and it was high time that they got back to their search. The story of Ice Nine had him interested, but there was a time to think about that once they had gotten out of the freezer. Junpei looked at June, nodded, and resumed his search of the room. So whack. Uh, there's a chicken somewhere, right? There we go. Okay. Uh, I think, are we, oh, fucking, oh, there we go. I think we've got everything. Okay, so this is where I do this shit, right? Uh, I need to bash this shit. Or, whoopsies. Right, like this. Alright, the dry ice is fucked up. And then I put it in the bottle? Alright, and then I wrap the bottle with this. Alright. I have my fucking bomb. Put the bomb on here. Use this rock of dry ice. Nine and fucking throw it at this damn door. This 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 whole scene is like the wackest fucking shit. It is so whack. I, I swear to god that people were high when they made this game. <laughs> 
And meanwhile, Lotus being shady bitch that she is. Uh, we're gonna put this crap. Alright. On top. Alright. And then we're gonna sharpen this freaking knife. How do we lose the whetstone by combining them, by the way? Like, shouldn't I still have the whetstone? Alright. C, 10, F. Alright. I forget. Is this... How many buttons is this? Again. Alright, it's... Ah, uh, someone tell me the number again. I forget. Is it 42? No, 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 no. Is, is it 43? Yeah, it's 43. Okay. All right, well, that went well. Good job, that boy. Got that damn Saturn key. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, they got the fuck out, and uh, then they did some stuff, figured out that uh, they're in a, pl a bad place. And, uh, all right, uh, I don't remember what's going on here. All right, they're gonna meet up in the hall, right? We're gonna get to that part with the, the hospital room, right? All right, here we go. So this is the hospital. We're gonna go through door seven. All right. Hmm, okay. Uh, this is the part where, oh, why, why are we talking about this? Oh, right, yeah, this is, uh, this is the, the gigantic, right? Okay, the, the, the bell has rung. However, From far away, he heard it. All right. All right. Right, right. And that's when he noticed. Yeah, okay. Where is Snake? Well, we would know where Snake is, which is that fucking Ace just popped that motherfucker. Uh, I don't care about this. Preach just doesn't fucking matter. And... Walk away. Finish searching. We we know he's fucking dead, so we don't need to fucking search for him. <laughs> All right. Uh, leaving behind three people with two teams of four and three. I don't know about that shit. You'll see. There we go. All right, calm the fuck down, says Santa. Lotus says, you shut the fuck up. Seven goes, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Clover is like, my fucking brother, where is she? Ace is like, I'm a fucking bad guy. Here I fucking am. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking go to sleep and then uh, do some shit. And, uh, let's turbo. Goodbye, Ace. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go to bed now. Hey, what door do you want? I want door fucking seven. Let's go. 